Hello friends, today we are going to learn about low exponent attack. It is also known as low public exponent attack. Why it is known as low public exponent attack that I will explain you later on. So the low exponent attack, it is also a kind of protocol failure attacks on RSA. So suppose the eavesdroppers, whenever they want to break the RSA algorithm, they used to use this attack known as low exponent attack or low public exponent attack. This was first one. Another one is also known as common modulus attack. We will talk about the common modulus attack as well in the later lectures. But right now we will be fo focusing on the low exponent attack or the low public exponent attack. Okay. So suppose there is a person named Alice and uh, he wants to send messages to three persons message M to three persons using the public keys N1, N2 and N3 and a very low public exponent that is E equals to three. We are supposing that he took low exponent E equal to three. Okay. So when we try to encrypt it, what happens is that for the first person, it becomes C1 is equal to message raised to E. It means E we have 3 so we are putting 3 over here so C1 is equal to M raised to 3 mod N1 then for second person C2 is equal to M3 raised mod N2 and C3 equals to M3 M raised to 3 mod N3 okay so now what happens is that by using the Chinese remainder theorem the eavesdropper can compute the number C the C he can compute using Chinese remainder theorem. If you remember in Chinese remainder theorem, we had an equation like x1 is equal to a1 mod m1, x2 is equal to a2 mod m2, and x3 is equal to a3 mod m3. And we used to find the x value using all of this right so if we compare we can see that we are having similar scenario c1 is equal to m3 mod n1 c2 is equal to i'm so sorry m raised to 3 m raised to 3 mod n2 and c3 is equal to m raised to 3 mod n3 okay so here we can say that for all of this the x that we used to find we can say that it is c right which will be equal to m cube so here our m cube will be the answer as x when we try to solve this using crt the x that we will get will be equivalent to m3 m raised to 3 all right so suppose you want to get the message you have to take the cube root of the x that we get by solving this equation using crt so m will be equal to cube root of the x that we get by solving this equation whatever we have using chinese remainder theorem okay so let's take an example right now Suppose we have public keys N1, N2 and N3 equals to 1927, 187, 667. We have the low exponent key again as 3 and we have the C1, C2 and C3 values as 292. 146663 okay so suppose we got familiar with these values in any equation so what we can do is that we can write it as x is equal to 292 mod 1927 x is equal to 146 mod 187 x is equal to 667 
mod 6 I'm so sorry 663 mod 667 correct just to write it in a way so that we we find it easy to solve using Chinese remainder theorem so when we used to solve the Chinese remainder theorem we got an equation something like a1 into m1 into m1 inverse plus a2 into m2 into m2 inverse etc etc if you want to revise the method of Chinese remainder I'll provide you a link on the top right corner of the Chinese remainder lecture that we have taught you can go and visit and watch it and learn and revise your concepts okay so here what our equation will be is 292 into 187 multiplied by 667 187 multiplied by 667 which is equal to 124 729 one two four seven two nine into again inverse of this value one two four seven two nine mod the equivalent value of mm -hmm. first one it is one nine two seven plus one four six into now for the 146 we have 187 as mod so multiply the other two numbers so it will be 19 sorry 1927 into 667 it is 1285309 so write it down 1285309 into here it will be inverse one two eight five three zero nine inverse mod the equivalent value one eight seven plus the third one which is six six three into now here we have six six seven so we'll multiply these two numbers so that will be one nine two seven into 187 which is equal to 360349 so 360349 into 360349 inverse mod the equivalent value 667 okay this is the main equation that we get when we used to solve this one using the Chinese remainder equation so if we solve it further on what happens mm -hmm. is that x will be equal to we, we need to solve this inverse right but we we see here that it is a very huge number so like just to factorize it to be a small number we will mod it using the actual value that we have here so suppose when we get a smaller number it will be easier for us to calculate the inverse right okay so let's just factorize it so that it comes in a proper manner where we can solve it using this mod for inverse so here we have one two four seven two nine so to factorize it and bring it to a lower value we will be dividing it with its equivalent mod one nine two seven subtract the digits that are before decimal minus 64 now again multiply the mod equivalent value so 1927 answer is 1401 so here you can write it as 292 into 124729 mm -hmm. into 1401 inverse mod 1927 plus 146 into 1285309 into now let's find a smaller value for this one so it is 
309 divided by its equivalent mod that is 187 subtract the number before decimals so it is 6873 again multiply with its equivalent mod 187 so the answer is 58 so it will become 58 inverse mod 187 plus the last one 663 into 360349 into for the last value 360349 divided it by its equivalent mod which is 667 the answer is 540 point something subtract the numbers before decimal minus 540 into multiply it with its equivalent mod 667 so answer is 168.99999 which means 169 okay so here it will be 169 inverse mod 667 so now if you see to calculate 1401 inverse mod 1927 58 inverse mod 187 and 169 inverse mod 667 is comparatively easier i'll also provide you the link on the top right corner for this how to find inverse as well if you forget or if you want to revise the concept okay so now here what it comes is for the entire x we also have to mod it by multiplying it with the n1 n2 and n3 so n1 we have is 1927 into 187 into 667 so this is the number so this entire equation will be done as mod of the value 2403527783 the answer that you get using this one should be modded by this number because it is in the formula of the Chinese remainder theorem you have to do the entire mod of n1 into n1 into n2 into n3 right okay so when you try to solve this equation you will get your x as something like 4913 okay and here I told you that your x is equivalent to m cube which means if you need m the message mm -hmm. you have to do the cube root of x so m is equal to cube root of x which is equal to cube root of 4913 so our m will be equal to let's find the cube root of 4 9 1 3 17 so our m here will be equal to 17 okay so this was all about the low exponent attack on rsa or low public exponent attack on rsa in the next lecture we will see the common modulus attack Okay?